finished. So, hi, this is Doug with Hwood Engineering, and I wanted to go over a recent restoration project I undertook of this big wooden hammer that I made uh, originally about five years ago. Um, this is a hickory, big piece of hickory uh, with a also a hickory handle and uh, some uh, metal banding to uh, metal uh, sheath to protect the handle on a miss hit. Uh, with and I used uh, pipe clamps to uh, as the metal banding uh, around around the mushrooming of the the hammerhead. <clears throat> Uh, so that's what the hammer looks like now. You can see some of the restoration work. Um, uh, let me take you through uh, the restoration in pictures. Um, but well, but first, the, uh, down here is what the hammer looked like originally with the original metal banding, uh, which was which was wrapped around and screwed in, which turned out to not be a great idea, and thus the point of the restoration project. <clears throat> Uh, you can see my original banding, uh, how it's held, how it held up after some um, after some abuse. So I use this so I use this hammer to split some logs using wedges like this. Um, I also used it to hammer in some fence posts, which has this really thin uh, top, which really dug into the the hammer wood. So you know, I was purposely putting it through its paces. Uh, really <clears throat> really abusing it and this is what it you know that's what it looked like after that so it still held up well even with a inferior banding technique um, so it held up well enough that I made another one um, and, as a gift uh, to my dad and uh, I improved the banding technique a little bit but it was still the still fundamentally not a great uh, banding technique in hindsight so um, here you can see what it looks like um, a few weeks ago before I started I started taking off the metal banding so you have a bunch of pieces of wood uh, just kind of floating around that I, you know save the pieces kind of thing um, taking the banding off itself was pretty tough uh, it because um, whenever you have uh, different metals different types of metals in contact with each other even if it's steel but different types of steel uh, one of those metals is probably going to corrode over time uh, in this case the screws corroded uh, so they were all, some of them were hard to take out I had to use a hacksaw uh, pry them off I'd use a grinder to grind them off uh, but eventually I got all the metal banding off and um, I started to I, I, I saved a, as many of the original pieces of the hammer head as I could but I still had to um, kind of shape some pieces I used some white oak to as the replacement piece as you see there um, you know cut it off to shape it so it fits in nicely uh, here I start uh, getting all the every everything I need to start uh, the, the gluing process so um, and here's where I put the glue on uh, so I used liquid nails here uh, it's a gap filler so you wouldn't want to use just normal wood glue here because uh, normal wood glue does have a better bond but it doesn't fill gaps uh, so make sure you're I had to make sure I was using like a caulking type of substance uh, so once I got the glue on there I put it all together uh, mushed it together by hand first then put a uh, pipe clamp around the ends um, once I got the pipe clamps on I start driving wedges in um, to just make things even tighter. Uh, wedges, uh, as you can see, the wedges go uh, both under the pipe clamps uh, just to make them tighter and uh, in, in the cracks in the hammer facing. Uh, then I put some more pipe clamps around, uh, really tighten this whole thing up. A lot of tension in there. <laughs> um, I let that sit for about a day and then uh, take the pipe clamps off and you know everything's really tight and glued together uh, so I I do some trimming work here um, you know draw a knife uh, you know saw whatever uh, just to get everything smoothed out and then I put uh, two of the pipe clamps back on right around the mushrooming around the uh, existing mushrooming or on the hammer facing and uh, yeah then just trim the pipe clamps with some 
metal cutters, snips, and uh, I just kind of hammered them so they're not so sharp, just uh, so they don't catch on anything. Uh, but yeah, um, this is what we're left with. I, I hope it works out well. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be using this for my driveway project. Uh, as you see some of the stones behind me here. I'm just gonna be using this hammer to kind of settle settle them into the place into the base layer that I'm laying down first um, so you know, I'll do a video on its use um, I'll see how it holds up uh, pipe clamps uh, I really like using them for uh, structural kind of purposes like this uh, they've held up well in my experience so I, I think even though they're kind of thin and uh, yeah I don't know weak looking uh, I think they're gonna hold up well so I hope you enjoyed that video uh, please like share comment subscribe in reverse order and I'll see you next time